Welcome back, folks. We're back on Maximum Aggro. I'm not really sure why Uncle Matt V has a quest for me. I'm pretty sure I've already done this quest, but we're going to pick it up again and see if it's a new one or if it's just a continuation. But he's in the bar right below where you buy everything on the second floor down here. Oh, Stalker, hello again. Thanks again for settling the business with Kaplan and Clever. You looking for a job by any chance? Depends on the job. An important one. To put it plainly, you seem like a reliable guy. Loyal to the Stalker's duty. I respect that. I'll pay you decently since it concerns all of us. What concerns all of us? Bar's neutral territory. I've told you this before. Certain forces try to maintain neutrality here in all respects. And when some kind of imbalance happens, it can lead to serious disturbances. One of those imbalances happened related to alcohol. Recently, bandits are increasingly getting better and cheaper alcohol, but they're fooling our stalker brother. The markups are baffling and the quality has dropped significantly. A few of our men were poisoned by some doctored vodka. This could lead to some serious trouble. Some stalkers were poisoned by vodka. That's it. Are you sure this is a terrible problem? I personally don't tolerate drunkenness, but if you understand what many of our men in the zone have to endure, for some, having a drink after hunting is the only way to keep a sober mind, no matter how contradictory that may sound. But what trouble does that mean for us? I'm trying to keep the hotheads in check, but you realize that if this carries on, there could be some riots around here, right? We can't lose the bar. It's like an island of safety in the heart of the zone. We have to restore balance. How do you see this playing out? I already dug into it a bit. One of the alcohol suppliers is apparently involved in changing the policy towards stalkers. It goes by Compote? 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 Com Oh, we're going to call him Capote. I need you to win his trust, work for him a bit, try to figure out why the drink supply at the bar is taking such a turn for the worse all of a sudden. Then what? Wait for the right moment to strike. We need a way to force Compote to start treating us fairly again. Sure, it's not your usual job, but you've got your head on straight, don't you? Can you handle it? Will you do it? I'll tell him I will. What choice do I have? You'll find Compote here in the bar. Be careful with him. He's a sharp cookie. You'll have to work to impress him. A friend of mine, a stalker named Fema, should have asked around about him a little. If you want, track FEMA down and chat with him before heading to Compote. And we get the quest, A Matter of Alcohol. You tell him, I'll consider it. Thanks. We're actually going to go, who is this? That's Compote. I want to track down the other guy. I'm going to track down FEMA. I'd like to have all the information to uh, get this quest correct. I'm not going to talk to him until I find this other guy. So I'm going to run around and see if I can find him. And I'll see you in a second. Okay, so once you talk to Uncle Matvi downstairs, if you come up here right in front of the artifact guy, here is FEMA. You see a stalker picking at his hangnail with a serious expression on his face. FEMA? Yeah, I'm FEMA. What's it to you? Matt V sent me. I need some information about an alcohol supplier named Compote. FEMA jerks his hand, tearing off the hangnail, then shouts in pain. Damn it. That hurt. He sucks on his finger, which is bleeding slightly. Hey there. So what was that about Compote? That's what I'm asking you about. What did you learn about him? Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. A little spacey today. So this Compote is a serious piece of work. You're trying to buddy him up? What I know for sure is he has some beef with Covenant. He hates their guts. If you tell him that you've taken out a Covenant squad or two, he'll warm up to you fast. Not bad. That information might be useful. Sure. That all? Now will you leave me alone? Sure, I'll leave you alone to your uh, finger sucking. So if we talk to him and tell him that we've taken out a couple co Covenant squads, he'll be more likely to talk to us. So let's do that. He's going to be down here. Yeah, you need something? Are you compote? You're a businessman, right? You supply drinks to the bar? Drinks? No, you're mistaken. I only supply juice. Orange juice, cherry juice, but orange juice is better. Has a nice tartness and love that orange color. Yeah, comparing cherry juice to orange juice is like comparing you to a real stalker. You messing with me? No, you're messing with me. Coming in here asking all kinds of dumb questions. With each second of this conversation, I start to wonder why I'm even answering you. Maybe I should just snap my fingers and get a few of my buddies to toss you out of here. I'm just looking for work. I'm sure a big shot businessman like you must have some jobs for me. A spark of curiosity flares in compote's eyes. That's so. Well, you sure know how to talk to an employer. This is your first day on the job market or what? You need work. Well, everyone needs work. And everyone wants to work for me. Answer one question for me. Why should I choose you? Well, I've seen a lot and survived a lot. Yeah, you don't look like it. How about you describe your feats a little more detail? Uh, let's see what he's got. I'm gonna go straight to the, the Covenant one because the, a guy up top said he hates Covenant. So I've taken out several Covenant squads. Those psychos would crucify me if they could get their hands on me. Ah, so you taught the Covenant a lesson, huh? I can't stand those pompous pricks. They mess with a few of my holy water shipments. Damn them. I respect anyone who knocks them around. Maybe you and I should work together. I'm glad I found the right approach. Don't be so sure. Your words may have impressed me, but you won't get far on words alone. Look, I take it you understand what line of work I'm in. I supply alcohol to the bar and a few other spots in the zone. You don't need to know all the details. Of course. Then what? In every business, there's competition. A man named Nosy is putting serious pressure on my clients, trying to win them over to him. I'm still working on a plan for a full-fledged counter-strike, but for now, it's enough to just shit on his doorstep. And I'm the one doing the shitting? Well, naturally. I have the coordinates of a small warehouse of his where he's storing the goods. Knows he isn't the kind of guy to have unlimited resources or the means to hire a whole army of mercs. I'm more than sure that the stash isn't guarded. Knows he's no idiot, though. He wouldn't just hope that no one stumbles across it. So how does he protect his goods? I'm sure he's got them under secure lock and key. So for this job, you'll have to use your brains, not your brawn. Here, take this set of tools. You can use them to pick the lock on Nosy's stash. Uh, he's just gonna give his lock pick, so that's fine. 
Tell him, okay, I'll do it. I hope so. I prefer smart help. It's so proved to me that you fall under that definition. And that completes a matter of alcohol. We get the lockpick tools and we get right under his nosy as a quest. And we just have to find the stash and break into it, which is going to be up in the army warehouses, just to the Northwest of the duty base. So let's run up there. All right, so we are almost to where it's at. And if you're duty, you're gonna know exactly where it's at because it's literally right here on like right across from our base over there. So it's gonna be in this entrance. And when you walk in, there's a crate on the floor right below you and you just have to pick the lock just like you would any other lock. And after you finally get it undone, you remove the lock from the crate, open the crate up, and that completes right from under his nosy. You get the nosy's crate of alcohol and you get the quest confiscation. Take the crate and leave. And now we are just heading back to the bar. So I'm going to run back to the bar. All right, let's go back over here and talk to Compote again. Ah, safe crack. Did you get nosy's goods for me? Tasting from your own menu, eh? Why don't we spice it up with something from nosy's supply? Orange juice, I told you. It's the God's nectar. Plus, I'm at work right now. And when I'm working with alcohol, I don't consume it. As for nosy stash, nice job. I'm impressed. Is that it? What else is there? All right. Give me back my lockpicking tools. I'm going to need them myself. Okay. Okay. Relax here. You under reward. And you tell him now that's better. So we needle nosy a little bit, but that's not enough, right? I found out his warehouse location is in the savage territories, but we're not talking about a dusty cellar with one crate of booze. This is something more serious. Planning some sabotage? I'm planning to smash the place to kingdom come. I suppose it could count as sabotage. Basically, I want to make the warehouse and nosy himself into an example for anyone who sticks their nose into my business. Hang on, that was almost a pun, wasn't it? Are you sure that flask is just juice, compote? Go to hell, stalker. So you need Hungarian. He's hanging around here at the bar somewhere. He owes me. Tell him to take care of nosy's hideout. I'll send the coordinates to your PDA. If Hungarian needs any help organizing the raid, help him out. Got it? Tell him to think so. Come back when you're done with Hungarian. We'll talk about what to do next. That ends confiscation and we get the quest, Hungarian. And that's 10,000 rubles and 500 repair parts. Hungarian's gonna be on the bottom all the way back over here where shaman used to be almost hi there i don't drink with stalkers move your ass along well i'm not here to drink with you although we will be talking about alcohol oh did compote send you no chance he's kicked the bucket or spilled the bucket ah oh, that was a good one compotes spilled get it because he deals in booze yes you stand up genius compote sent me and he has a job for you a job someone's up on a high horse what does he want this time here i'll send the coordinates of nosy's warehouse to your pda you know him he wants you to go and really f the place up Hey, no need for that language, I understand. Daddy Hungarian is an expert on all kinds of destruction. But I see you're pre still pretty green, aren't you? What's it to you? Just go do the dirty work. I'd love to, but I don't work alone. Compo didn't tell you that you were, you know, how do I put it? Are at my beck and call, my lackey? What did you just say? Don't get your panties in a bunch, man. I'm just needling you, okay? I need Rafik and Clutch. Rafik will be there to cover me and Clutch needs to supply me with weapons. I'm gonna gather up my string, hit the head, and have a smoke. You run along to Rafik and Clutch one more time. Rafik needs to be there as my backup, and Clutch owes me guns. You ask, where do I find them? Not far off, hanging around the savage territories. I'll send you coordinates of the locations and you go find them. That ends Hungarian and we get Hungarian's preparations. All I need to remember is that Clutch is supposed to give guns. I like how they say the savage territories. I thought I was going to be going up north. So we're just going to leave the bar and one of the guys is just right out here. Oh, here he is. Halt, stalker, halt, or I'll shoot. Relax, I'm not here for a fight. You're Rafik, right? Hungary's waiting for you. Huh? What's he want from me now? I already told him I wasn't cheating at poker. I just got lucky with the cards. Calm down, it's not about that. He's preparing for a raid. He said you should be his backup. Ah, sure, I can do that. Where do I gotta go? Here, I'll send the coordinates. The building is also in the savage territories. Marvelous, I'll be there. Now get out of here before someone sees me yammering with a stalker. All right, I'm leaving. And he's gonna be in this building right here in the back corner back there. It's kind of hard to see when you first come in here. And the bar itself entrance is back that way. So, and then ye old clutch is going to be heading to the forest, kind of. If you go on the north route to the forest. So we're going to run over here and talk to him if we can find the turd. There he is. He's going to be in this building right here where there's usually either blood suckers or snork dens. Got business with me? 
Are you clutch? Hungarian sent me. You need to provide some weapons for him. Huh. Guns for Hungarian. Guns for Hungarian. Hang on. I have to remember what I'm supposed to give him. Think faster. Ah, here we go. Take this. This is for Hungarian. Also, tell him I can't make it to poker on Sunday. Too much shit to do. They can play without me. That ends Hungarian's preparation and the quest Hungarian's raid is received. And we get the case of weapons. You tell him, okay, thanks. And now we just got to go back to the bar and talk to Hungarian. So let's run back there. All right, we're back at the bar. Let's run back over here and talk to him again. Here's a case of weapons from Clutch. Rafik promised to head to the location. Looks like we're all set. I should go. Got to down my drink and I'll be off. You're a real one, you know? You can tell Kampot I said that. A real one. He may even pay you. That ends Hungarian's raid and we get the quest dirty work. You tell him, yeah, sure. And we're just running back over and talking to Kampot. So have you sent Hungarian to Nosy's warehouse? Yep, job's done. I helped Hungarian find backup and weapons. He should be on his way. Situation changed a little. I got word that Nosy himself is at the warehouse. Apparently he's planning an inspection. If Nosy is there, that means we'll be more security than I anticipated. So what do you intend to do? No time to yammer about it. You have the coordinates on the warehouse. Go and help Hungarian. Take out everyone in there. If you manage to take out Nosy too, even better. And the quest dirty work is complete and you get the quest not allowed in. So now we just have to go. It's also in the factory, so. And it's not that far away. It's only 234 meters. Oh, is this a guy? I think there's a door that I always wondered where it went. It is. I always wonder what the door was here for. It's going to be right here on the map. Go away, rat. All right, and we're inside, and here is... Here's Rafik, and he is dead. If you examine his body, you get some consumables. You get a ceramic plate one energy drink and a pouch of 9mm armor piercing. I wonder is there anything else that we can examine in this thing. They're just going to walk to me like lemmings. And here is Gun. Here's the Hungarian. Let's examine him. You get two morphines, two RGOs, and a pouch of army first aid kits. All right. I like everything about that. Jesus, Nosy has a PKP. He has some hella armor. Now, where is, uh, oh, wait, no, there was only two here. That's right. What's his face didn't come. Okay, so we just got to go back to the bar now and talk to, what's his face? Back in the bar. Let's go over here and talk to Compote again. How did it go? Did you and Hungarian take care of Nosy's enterprise? Hungarian couldn't handle the job. I finished it for him. Nosy also went to meet his maker, by the way. Well, I'd raise a glass in his honor, but he was a dumb knuckle dragger. But, you know, you're another story. You seem like the type who doesn't like to sit still. Always running here and there, ready to have the irons in every fire. Maybe you're worth taking a closer look at. Maybe I'm even worth a reward for my efforts. What do you want me to pay you in? Juice? Vodka? Juice spilled with vodka? Keep your juice and vodka. I wouldn't say no to something valuable. Sure, I was just messing around. Here's your reward. I hope your schedule isn't so full that you can't find time to help me out a little more. What are we talking about? I guess it's time to pull back the curtain and let you in on a few details. You see, I've gotten in good with the crime boss from the dead city, a man named Ramzan. Now it's getting more interesting. This Ramzan is a man with a very unique temperament. He likes to mix honor and business and tequila and kefir all in one glass. Long story short, if you meet Ramzan, you don't want to just shake his hand. You better bow. You get me? On the other hand, he's willing to buy alcohol from me for an astronomical price. What does he get in exchange? In exchange, he gets a good product. Willingness to kiss his shiny ass any moment and less loyalty to the stalkers. This isn't a politics thing. Ramzan simply pays well. Now you have a chance to hop on the gravy train. What do I need to do? Ramzan is demanding a present. Several bottles of incredibly rare and expensive cognac. The Black Pearl of Armenia. I managed to get my hands on them through an old friend named Janiko. It's all paid for. You just need to pick up the cognac and bring it to me. That doesn't sound too hard. Sure, but first of all, the cognac has to make it to me safe and sound. That's crucial. It's a present for Ramzan. Not a single speck of dust should be on it. Second of all, Janiko isn't the easiest person to get along with either. That's why I don't want to pick up the cognac myself. He has a unique way of dealing with people. Meaning? He likes to test their limits, so to speak. Just be polite and keep your composure. Once you bring me the cognac, I'll make it worth everything you had to deal with. Sounds daunting, but I, gonna, I guess I don't have a choice. I'll get you the black pearl. Great, I've sent the coordinates of where you should meet Janiko. Hope it goes okay. I'll drink the orange juice to your success. And you get a pouch of scientific first aid kits, morphine, 2,500 repair parts, 30,000 rubles, an epinephrine, a pouch of 7.62, and a pouch of uh, 5.56 armor piercing ammo. And we get the quest weak point. We got to go back and talk to Uncle Matvi before we do anything else. Haven't had a word from you in a while. Have you gotten any dirt on Compote? Yeah, I've got some interesting news. I'm listening carefully, stalker. He's gotten mixed up with a bandit boss named Ramzan. He's a big shot from the dead city. 
I've heard of him. Ramzan is one of a kind bastard. Compared to him, most bands of the zone are the sweetest, kindest people that I'd invite for a cup of tea. We're getting off topic though. Go on. Ramzan has some influence over Compote. He's had him turn against the stalkers and in exchange is paying him enormous sums of money. Stupidity, boorishness, and plain old barbarity. Nothing new, really. Any thoughts on how to change the current situation? Compote tasked me with bringing him some rare cognac that Ramzan is expecting from him as a present. Well, Compote definitely made a mistake befriending someone like Ramzan. The self-obsessed psycho won't forgive him if something were to happen to his expensive present. I take it that's the weak spot you're planning to strike at. We are planning to strike at. We're on the same team, remember? Stalkers have each other's backs, and I hope you'll stay committed to see this through. Here, I want to reward you for your efforts. It's not much, but I promise if you help me see this through, you won't be disappointed. And that gives us 25,000 rubles and 2,000 repair parts. You ask him, what do I have to do? It's simple. Once you obtain the cognac, give it to me. I'll inform Compote myself that his present for Ramzan is in our hands now. I think once he hears that, he'll be willing to take a seat at the bargaining table. And weak points complete, and we get the quest kind to Janiko. Understood? I'll see what I can do. And now we got to get the cognac from Janiko, who is just up above the duty base to the northeast. So not going to be too hard to find. So as soon as this mission is done, I'm going to run up there, and I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, we are almost up to where we need to be. I think there, this may be the the random door that I always see on the way back from Yanov. It is. It's just that one random ass door. I wonder what this went to. So, all right, as you can see, there's a bit of a change in background attire character. I did this on my freedom guy up to this point because on my duty guy, I made a mistake in the options with him. So my friend, hello, wait a moment. Are you really the one I've been waiting for? Who sent you, my boy? Compote sent me. You must be the respected Janiko who's going to give me some cognac. Compote sent you, huh? You had poor Janiko here waiting and worrying. I was starting to think no one would show up. You say respected, then you show up late. Not good. Not good at all. You say some cognac when this is not just some cognac. It's the Black Pearl of Armenia. Ah, my friend, you can't begin to imagine the heavily bouquet stoppered in these bottles. I'm going to tell him apologies for the delay. I have no doubt you brought the finest of treasures. What fine words you pour honey in Janiko's ears. You know how to say a kind phrase. You must be a good man. Compote sends me a good man since that crook is too scared to see Janiko himself. With good reason, with good reason. Respect to Janiko, perhaps we can get down to business. I would like to obtain the Black Pearl of Armenia from you. The Black Pearl of Armenia? Merely to obtain just a, such a prize as a feat in its own. An even bigger feat as I managed to bring it here in these dangerous parts, safe and sound. Let's drink to that. That deserves a drink, eh? Excuse me? I have an excellent liqueur made personally by my late Uncle Arson. Ah, oh, my friend, I can promise you in terms of taste, the liqueur almost rivals that of the Black Pearl. Drink with me. To my good fortune and our meeting. I'm going to tell him, okay, let's drink. My good man, I'm so touched you made Janigo so happy. Here, take your glass. I'll take mine. Let's pour out some of Uncle Arson's heavenly liqueur. May he rest in peace. And will you do me the honor of giving a toast? We're going to toast to his Uncle Arson who created the heavenly drink. May he look down on us from the heaven and rejoice. Oh, my friend, you said it well. Uncle Arson is looking down on us. I'm sure he is. He's drinking with the angels, sitting on a fluffy white cloud, happy that his efforts didn't go to waste. The fruits of his labor have gone to the most worthy of recipients. You and me, let's drink. So you're going to drink. You drink it and you immediately start to feel an odd sensation of flying. You fly upwards past the mount, whatever, capped with white snow. You feel like an eagle, free and powerful. The zone, the blessed, the blue sphere. It all stays somewhere far below and no longer matters to you. For some time, you part the air with your powerful wings, but suddenly you feel yourself being forcibly tugged downwards, as if an, as if an invisible hunter had roped you and is trying to capture you. Amid the fog of your flight, you hear Janiko's voice. Ah, my friend, I see you liked it. Uncle Arson knew how to make liqueur, but only for the strong of mind and body. Are you still on your feet? It would seem so. Let's drink another. We're going to drink another one, and you start tripping balls again. At this point, he says, my friend, it's so pleasant to drink with you. You've got tears in your eyes. That's how strong it hits you. You've realized that no one will make such a wonderful liqueur again since Uncle Arson has gone to God's side. Will you drink one more? I drank one more on the other character. And it was too much. I got drunk and he got offended. So I'm going to say, no, that was enough for me. Perhaps you're right. Knowing when to stop is a skill that not all possess. I respect you, my friend. I respect you for possessing this quality. Take this from me. You tell him, excellent. This way you don't drink too much and have to do an extra step. Here, take it. The wonderful one-of-a-kind black pearl of Armenia. I hope you keep it intact and give it to Compote safe and sound. And that ends kind Janiko. We get the black pearl of Armenia and we get Bruderschaft. Bruderschaft? I don't know what the fuck that word is. We get that quest. I'll take good care of the cognac. Thank you for everything, Janiko. So now we're going to run back to the bar, and you have a choice to either give the cognac to Matvi or Kompo. You can give it back to the quest giver like you were supposed to, or you can give it to the bad guy. Now, I know what we get if you give it to the good guy. 
I'm going to give it to the bad guy on this one. And I'm going to put both of the endings in the video. The first ending you're going to see, I'm going to hop back to the duty character, the old recording. And or we're going to give the cognac to Uncle Madvi and do the good ending, quote unquote. And then we'll hop back over to this guy and do the bad ending, quote unquote, where you give it to Compote instead of Uncle Madvi. So I will see you guys back on the duty character to turn Cognac into Madvi here in just a second. All right, so now we're going back to Uncle Matvi here. Let's talk to him. Were you successful in your job? The present that Compote planned to give to Ramzan, did you intercept it? The Black Pearl of Armenia Cognac is very rare. Be careful, here you go. Black Pearl, fancy name. What, but what makes this a precious pearl to us is not the taste. It's our bargaining chip to use against Compote. I'll take things from here. If he wants the pearl back, he'll have to reconsider his attitude towards the stalkers. Excellent. Your selflessness is an example to us all. You don't forget the brotherhood of stalkers. I appreciate that. These days, there is nothing more valuable to us than our fellowship. I want to pay you for your honesty and loyalty. Here, I hope you won't be disappointed. Thank you, Uncle Montby. This is a worthy reward. Well, I have some business to attend to now. I need to see Compote's situation through. Stop by later, stalker. Hopefully, there will be work for a promising fellow like you, and that ends... Whatever that is. 5,000 repair parts, we get 60,000 rubles, and a big bag of army first aid kit. You tell him I'll be sure to stop by. And it seems like, for the moment, that's the end of that little quest line. All right, so in the video, you've already seen me turn the cognac into Matvi. If you wanted to see what it is, if you give it to Compote, we're going to give Compote, the bad guy, the Pearl of Armenia now. The Black Pearl of Armenia for your table, Compote. I have to say, getting it from Janiko was far from easy. Yeah, I know the full force of Janiko's headstrong character, but what can you do? The guy knows how to get his hands on stuff no one else can, which means that it's easier to accept some of his peculiarities. This present is sure to be to Ramzan liking, and two things are my liking. Your efficiency and, want to guess the second? Orange juice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. Delicious tasty. I think you promised me a worthy reward. You know how to finish my sentences, which means we really do work well together. Here's your reward. I'm sure you'll be happy with it. Great, just what I need. Now I have a meeting with Ramson coming up. I need to prepare for it properly, so I won't have anything to offer you for a little while, but if you come back later, there will be work to be found. And that's 5,000 units, 60,000 rubles, and a big bag of army first aid kits, and that completes whatever that quest is. I'm going to hang out for a little bit and see if he updates and gives me any other quest, and I'll see you here in a second. All right, so after turning in the quest to Compote, the bad guy, instead of giving the cognac to Uncle Matvi, Uncle Matvi now has a quest. And when you go to talk to him, it says, so this is how you chose to behave. The chains of stalker brotherhood have rusted through. And you chose a job from Compote over our fellowship. It's just business, Uncle. Might be nothing more. Usually when I hear that a younger generation has lost all decency, become cruel and foul without self-interest, I wave the words aside. I say that we need to make way for the young. We need to let them develop to show themselves and the best skills off. But you and your egotism have changed my mind. How touching, I'm about to cry. Leave, I do not do business with brutes like you. All the best to you too, Uncle Madvi. So he's now pissed. And so far, he has not told me that he has anything else for me. So I think that's the end of it. Because Uncle Matvi also never gives you another quest as far as I know. So rewards wise, it's the exact same rewards either way you go. Uncle Matvi piss is pissed at you if you give it to Compote. Compote says he'll have another job for you later, but he's not popped one up new for me. If he does pop up another one later on, I will do a video on it as well. I think that's the end of this chain in general. So if this video helped you out, go ahead and drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, hope you guys have a good one and I will catch you in the next video. You guys take it easy.